this tip, we're going to cover uh, a pain point on a grab. Uh, this could be done off of uh, several gee grabs that we teach, a gee grab or a lapel grab. And this particular technique, he can be grabbing and winding up to punch, and this is all going to wash out. It's all going to work out. But first, before we get to any wind up, I want to take a look at the hand here. I'm going to pin his hand against mine. And as I pin it, I'm going to add something. I'm going to take the pad of my thumb. I'm going to place it on the thumb, and you can see the reaction you get there. Okay, what I'm doing, make a fist for us, please, is I'm, I'm driving the finger back, and then I, I drive it slightly up to kind of almost like drive his nail back into the bone. So I go in and then up, and it's almost like a, a circular motion. And when you do that, you'll get him fired up. And if you... Yeah. If you apply, I don't want to do this too fast, but if you apply quick, see? You'll give him an electric shock. Do you think it was like? Like an electric shock that'll fire in the brain. And if you notice, he, you know, he can't stand up. His legs go. It actually tells the legs to shut down, right? Now, just kneel down for me for a second. I'm going to do this. I don't want to do it high, but try to stand up. He can't stand up. Right? No. You tried, right? Let's go the other way now. So let's say it's a left-handed grab. We'll go the other side. He's winding up. Most, um, a very typical scenario is I'll grab the left and punch with the right. All right. Now, of course, as that punch is coming, come on, it's, it's important that we negotiate that first. All right. But I remember an old master of mine teaching, if I can touch you, I can hurt you or kill you. So here we go. I might want to pin the hand and do a... Uh, an American Kempo technique we have to break the arm, knock it off and chop. Or I could pin the arm and do this. All right, now, if he's punching with that hand, all right, and I begin pressure here, can you bring that hand around? No. And of course, like every good martial arts technique should be taught, we always back it up so if this doesn't work and he launches the punch with another backup movement. So if I so if I cause damage here and I get him to kneel to me, bow to me, <laughs> okay, I can knock the hand off and then come back and chop. If for some reason I go to pin and I miss that. And I don't have time to go for an arm break. I can go into this now. Walk, chop. Okay? I don't want to get into all the what if scenarios and du dive into the formulation equation to figure it out. Just want to teach this and nothing else. Okay? Bring his hand up for security is good enough. Get a good grip here. You can fumble. You got a second. If, if you don't get to what time the punch goes, there's your block. Okay? But it doesn't take hard to get and squeeze. <laughs> right, Grandma? I'm getting it pretty fast. Drop on it. Feel it. Okay? Try to stand. Can't stand. All right. Now, there's your tip. And again, what, you all right? One more time, make a fist. You're just driving the thumb in, and it can be done, grab on, it can be done this hand. You can turn around this hand and do it. Uh, have fun with it, and see how you can blend it into the techniques you already have so that it might help you delete or shortcut a movement. All right? Okay, there you have it. I'll see you on one of our next steps.